Hey, 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 what's up, what's your boy, G-Strap, everybody, Faith, baby, daddy, voice of the street, man. And today we in, boop, we finna be in North Houston with it, y'all. So, I'ma let y'all hear this uh little report, and then I'ma come back with my thoughts. Y'all listen to this, man. As a father, as just a human being, for anyone to use a child, a precious man, defensive fact, child. let y'all see o'clock something. Monday morning, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says this man identified as 25-year-old DeAndre Flanagan, went and picked his two-year-old daughter up from daycare shortly after the child was dropped off by her mother. I don't know if he was on the list of authorized uh, persons. We're told he's a biological father. Gonzalez says he then went to the mother's job at Walmart in the Greenspoint area of North Houston and used their child as a bargaining chip. Asking for her phone, her passcode, uh, with child in hand and basically threatening to hurt the child if she did not turn those items over. That mother unlocked her phone and handed it over to her child's father as he asked. But when she tried to pull her daughter from his arms. We're told that the adult male uh, struck her uh, possibly a couple times to the face uh, and continued to flee the location. Deputies arrived at her job and tracked her phone, which helped them locate Flanagan, who was driving a red Camaro. And that's when deputies say he took them on a chase. He came, he hit my car, backed up, and kept going. The car eventually came to a rest at a church near Stubner Airline and Veterans Memorial Drive. After a standoff, law enforcement took the suspect into custody, and paramedics provided CPR to the unresponsive two-year-old until life flight arrived. I feel bad for the baby. I feel, I feel horrible for the baby because no, no mother should have to endure it. Unfortunately, that toddler died at the hospital. There did appear to be some trauma uh, to the body, but we don't know, again, if it was from bouncing around or, or what happened. Now to this story, capturing national headlines in extreme. Nah, check that out, y'all. Now, for some of y'all who might have missed it, what they said happened is that guy there went picked up his baby which is his child the baby two years old from the daycare center now mama work y'all so she must have dropped him off the baby off and went to work it's a little girl y'all dropped the baby off and she went to work now they had been having a little argument you know they was having a little argument or something she wanted to see in his phone I mean he wanted to see in her phone she said no nah, my shit like she ain't let him do it right so he gets mad and double back, go pick the baby up from the daycare center, y'all. Come up to her job with the baby. Now, bitch, you better unlock this phone, man. And she, man, she didn't even fuss and fight with him, y'all, they say. She gave him the phone. She unlocked it and gave it to him. And she reached for her baby. He like, no. He punched her a couple of times, right? And took off running and jumped in the car. Now, it's other reports, right, say... He called her on FaceTime. She had to call him. However it went, she called that phone or he called her. But if it's her phone, how was he going to call her? You feel me? But she must have called the phone through somebody else's phone. Maybe her co-workers or something and called because she trying to get to him and tell him, bring the baby back or whatever. Don't you know this dirty bastard, y'all, they say. First, the police chased him. went on a high-speed chase. And then he jumped out with the baby and ran into a building or something somewhere. Then contacted mama and choked the little girl out, y'all. You hear me? Choked the little girl out till she died. And then told mama. Mama said she was talking to the motherfucker, telling him, hey, man, don't do that, man. That's your daughter, man. Do not kill your daughter because what we going through. She said, the daughter loves you. I love you. He said, no, you don't love me. You love that man, that other man. So it's another man in, in the situation too. Now every news report going to tell you a little bit more something different. You have to read three or four of them. Same way with the YouTube thing. I got people always in the comments. This person was this person. Like uh, even yesterday a guy say it was a tranny shot up the school. Yeah okay that's what they say. It was it's a guy. She said she want to be a woman. Maybe she was born a man. Hey so be it. Somebody said she was 28. I said she was 26. Okay. You go get information like that. That's why I took this story and I looked to two or three different news outlets to 
make sure I get it right. I be trying to get it all the way right, y'all. But you know that's why y'all there. That's what the comments were for, y'all. Y'all have to correct me. Just leave a comment and let me know what else you can add to the story. Like I appreciate the other sister say, uh, it's a lot of stuff people add to these stories and uh, might be uh, some information we need to know. Like the lady in Mississippi that killed her husband. They say she had called the police, y'all, not she. He had called the police and told them he needed them to go over here and escort him over here so he can get his clothes out and he leave. He was trying to move. That's why she knew that too, y'all. He was trying to move for good. He on the phone with his uncle, though, but guess what? Mama was with him too, y'all. They say Mama had followed him over there. She trying to make sure shit don't jump too. But she didn't go in whether she should. I wish she could, would have went in, but that probably wouldn't change the outcome no way. So that make it look worse, y'all, for the lady. That make it look worse. When that bitch said, I'll kill you, she meant that shit then. And another thing I missed on that story, talking about the Mississippi lady now, y'all, is when you hear fire, fire, that's what they call gun down in the south. So when she pulled it out, that's what she was saying. Yeah, nigga, fire, fire, nigga, yeah, fire. I kill your motherfucking ass. So you know what? It might not look good in court. I thought because it's one shot, she may be all right. She gonna get go to jail anyway. But but I can't understand how a motherfucker uh that just shoot somebody go say you don't want to go to jail. If you ain't want to go to jail, you should put that motherfucking gun down. Period. You should put that gun down. Pardon us, hold on. I got something I wanted to say. Is to somebody who uh, did this. Let me see. I forgot. You know, yeah. If you don't want to go to jail, y'all, I would advise you don't shoot no damn body. How you gonna shoot somebody and then say you don't want to go to jail? That's crazy. Where you think people that shoot people go? Shit, they go to jail. If you kill somebody, you're going to jail. Yes, you are going to jail. I'm trying to give a shout out to my vetter. Uh, shout out to my vetter for supporting the uh, channel now. I'll be having to make sure I do that because I always say whoever in the cash shop, you want your name, shout out. There it is over there. But look, I want y'all to leave it in the comments and uh, let me know what y'all think about this situation. But one more thing, and let me say this, y'all. All the drugs in the streets are fucked up and they're not what they used to be. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. All drugs in the streets are fucked up, and they're not what they used to be. And I said that to say this. This ain't regular weed y'all smoking, bro. It's not. You got all kind of bubblegum flavors, the shit, strawberries and all this shit. How you think that is, bro? That shit ain't growed out the ground tasting like bubblegum. They spraying shit on it. They spraying shit on that weed to make it do. They synthetically make it. They doing all kind of shit with these reeds to make it. You know what I mean? That's a lot. Them chemicals they putting on that shit. I sent it on TikTok, y'all. It was one guy. He was in jail, right? And he said they used to bust their little moves. They getting their drugs and shit in. And uh, he started noticing people nodding off. And you know, now they ain't got hair running around the place. And they all nodding off. They just been smoking weed though. Finally, they holler at the guard. And the guard come clean. He said, yeah, well, we be spraying the weed with uh, fentanyl, y'all. The reason they do that because the jails are quieter when motherfuckers everybody nodding off the fentanyl. It slows everything down. That's how they want them. Calm. Now, this was during the pandemic, y'all. So, he said... Wasn't no, uh, no visitors coming in, wasn't nobody going out, wasn't no mail coming. How was the drugs getting in the facility? Through the guards. That's how they always got there. 
But you have extra shit. The gods bring stuff and the woman bring stuff. The gods bring the big shit like the cell phones and shit. And the woman bring the little shit she can. Maybe cigarettes and this and that. You know. It is so crazy that if you look on the internet. How many motherfuckers in jail got telephones? People got telephones in jail, man. They call you like they on the street. You could call your motherfucking baby daddy in jail like goddamn he was at home. Well, not really. You don't supposed to do that, but you can, man. That's what I'm saying. And people don't follow the rules, y'all. I've never been in jail and we had a cell phone on the deck, right? You know what our rule was? Everybody could talk to their little girl for a few minutes, an hour, 30 minutes, however much time we got, right? We tell all the women, do not call this phone back because the phone going to ring. We don't want the God to be coming by during the count and he hear, ding, 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 ding. what the fuck is that? Ring. Wait a minute. That sounds like a damn cell phone, don't it? You go get people fucked up. Some women follow the rules, but some don't. You always got a bitch that just going to do what she want to do. Call the phone. As soon as you pick the phone up and turn it on. What the fuck? Hello? This one going to be calling the phone back. It's not Tony Turner. No, Tony on the first floor, bitch. It's the third floor. Don't call this phone back, bitch. What she do? Two minutes later. Bing! Hello? Can I talk to your bitch? I just told you he ain't on this floor. He called me from this number. He must be talking to some other bitch. <laughs> this will make this. This is. You know when you tired of motherfucker. Listen, ladies, and this is funny if the Lester man gay. You know when a motherfucker getting on your nerve and you see a man do this. <laughs> oh shit Oh shit Hey we got to pray for our people y'all I swear we is going through some shit Man I ain't seen this much drama in my motherfucking life Well yeah I have but I'm not the average motherfucker But I'm just saying It's too much going on And I'm talking about domestically it's too much domestic violence going on, y'all. And then, listen, it ain't even all, well, it ain't even just domestic violence. Motherfuckers is getting it everywhere they go. Motherfucker, look, a domestic is a home situation when something happened in the home. Motherfucker, you was at work. What we gonna call that? We gotta call that something. What we gonna call that? And look, Remember I told y'all the other story where the lady found that lady that owned the uh, daycare center found out her husband was fucking with the kids or I'd say fondling the kids. And boy, she didn't want to believe it at first. But I tell you, when she got enough information, she went and handled that situation. You understand me? Well, I say that again. When she got enough Information she wouldn't handle that situation. Damn, that shit rhyme, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I'm about to put it in the book. But yeah, she wouldn't pop to myself, y'all, for real. That's crazy, man. That is really, really crazy. If I would add up from here, let's say it's a, <clears throat> it's four weeks in the month, right? Every week something didn't happen, man. Worse than what it was before. You know, like I said something about the, the shooting the other day, right? That was yesterday, last night. This lady, my, one of my guys say, she's a transgender. Okay, cool. But them white folks, they all seeking out to be like the Columbine shooters. The first ones, them was the first people to shoot up the school. The Columbine shooters, they called themselves the trench coat mafia. Some little white boys that used to get picked on and beat up every day. Every day this happened to them. Bullying in school, y'all, on the computer 
it gets bad, man. It gets bad. But all you got to do is turn the computer off and, you know, step away from it. But the problem is our kids can't hardly do that. So they getting cyberly attacked online, and that's really a headache when you try not to, you know, go there. And every time you look up, somebody saying something about you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. But you just ignore it. But it get annoying to you. You know, I had a person fucking with me like that, man. I just get tired. Look at this pussy ass nigga. He ain't got no nothing to do all day but talk shit about me. Get off my page, bro. Guess who it was, y'all? I might have said this before. Guess who it was? It was Charleston White. Yeah. He picking at me. He don't like I don't know why he don't like me, y'all. I can guess. I'm pretty sure I know why. Because, A, I'm from Chicago. And he don't like Chicago nigga or thug niggas. He, he want to label me like LeVon and Lil Dirk. Like, ain't none of them niggas in Chicago shit but some killers and do this. Okay, bro, keep me out of that. Why you fucking with me, though? You don't even know me. You don't know me. But I tell you how he do know me, y'all, is because Say Cheese. Me and Say Cheese was going to do an interview, right? Say Cheese wanted me to pay him. I'm not paying you shit. I'm just getting up there, bro. I'm not finna spend my money for you to do the same shit I'm doing at home already. You got to be kidding. And then the guy who, uh, Interviewed me the other day. Shit, I ain't gonna tell y'all what he gave me. But he had been offering me that for a minute. I don't do interviews. Well, I, I wasn't ready for that yet. I don't do interviews. I'm trying to start doing them and moving around. If motherfucker got the money, I will. But I turned Say Cheese down. So Say Cheese said something to him. Must have showed him the video or something. And then he just jumped on my tip, started fucking with me for no reason. Then I had to block him. Now, eventually I had to block the brother. And uh, he left me alone. Then he, at first, you know, I got my number and all that up there, though. So when I block him on here, he goes over there to my private number. Suck my dick, G Shrimp. <laughs> I just blocked the number from there, too. And you know what he said? Damn, this nigga ain't studying me. That's how you do it, y'all. You don't let no motherfucker know they getting under their skin. You don't know let no motherfucker get under your skin. And definitely don't let them know. Because they trying to ignore you and irritate you. Sometimes they say, and then another thing, they'll trick you out your position, bro. You might be getting good and your confidence getting up there. And then here it is, they start talking down on you. If you listen, people can destroy your self-esteem, you know. They can I don't know if they might be doing it purposely, intentionally, or whatever. It could be just a, uh, anything. They might not even mean to do it. One of my subscribers said to me the other day, Gee, Trump, I love the show, man. I love the show. But uh, you need to get a newer camera, man. It looked like the 90s watching your show. <laughs> I just said, yeah, okay. I said, i tell you what, bro. Send me a new camera. And I... Uh, Put it up. If not, enjoy the 90s, bro. Enjoy the 90s. And I meant that. With no disrespect. You feel me? I, so all I said, I ain't get upset. Stop. Man, what you talking about? Ooh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. That's his opinion. See, some people have these big ass TVs, y'all. And they want to take it and turn it to the left and see what you got in the corner over here. Turn it over there. See what you got in the corner there. Tilt to the little bit. See what you got under your bed and all that shit. No. I have my lighting and all that shit dark for a fucking reason. That's how I want it, bro. If I wanted to be light, I'd be out here where there's plenty of light. Y'all want to see me? I can stand up like this. I can stand up like this so y'all can see me. But when I'm sitting down, I'm sitting down, bro. You feel me? And y'all let me know what y'all think, man, about these two stories I just was talking about, man. Also, I want to know, man, am I right, fathers? The drugs is not the same, y'all. Like I said, they spraying that fentanyl and all that extra shit on the marijuana. They putting it on the cocaine. They putting it on the heroin. 
Oh, they really done fucked the heroin game up. Fit no. Don't you know we need these customers for tomorrow? How you gonna kill them all? Let's say if you had 15 good customers, you put a good batch of that motherfucker fitting all out there, poosh! You ain't got not now goddamn customer. How the fuck are you gonna survive with that shit? Really? And y'all giving it to people? And people hollering, oh, you can OD off this and that. Yeah. It used to be a time when you had to goddamn and take too many drugs. Now, just a little bit of the wrong shit will take you out of here, bro. Just a little bit of the wrong shit will take you out of here. We used to call that shit when they mix other drugs and put it all together speed. And I should tell people, yeah, you can speed that shit mixed up you and you go speed your ass right on out of here. Straight up, you go speed your ass right on out of here. Me, I want to stick around a little while, bro. I enjoy my life. I enjoy myself. I enjoy who I am and the person I'm becoming and all the extra shit that go with the G Shrimp Show. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp here by Faith, baby daddy, voice of the street, man. I'm a plunge tonight and dig you later. I'm out.